move on to issue number four. Issue number four is here. In global expansion, Netflix makes friends with carriers. So who are carriers? Carriers are internet service providers. So assume that you want to watch a movie. So in Netflix, how will you watch it? You need an internet connection and then only you can watch Netflix. So this internet connection is like provided by companies called as internet service providers or ISP. So these companies are very much important for Netflix because the speed of the internet, the availability of internet, the quality of internet determines how many people are going to watch Netflix. If the internet carrier is going to be very, uh, very poor quality, the videos are like buffering, uh, the carriers don't have much of a bandwidth, then people won't be like watching movies on Netflix. So we'll be clear here, if you want a good quality movie to be uh, watched on Netflix, you definitely need a good quality internet. And this is where ISPs are very important. So we'll move on to this issue here. So this is the key paragraph in this news article. This news article is available in uh, NY Times. So we'll just go through the paragraph. Netflix was looking to offer its stable of movies and television programming to the 10 million orange customers across France. What followed were six months of often tense negotiations as both companies bristled out over the details. Okay. So Netflix is in trying to enter into an agreement with the company called as Orange. Orange is an internet service provider. So why is like Netflix wants to get into this company? See, it's because Orange already has 10 million customers. So Netflix doesn't need to advertise that they are into France. Okay, Netflix doesn't need to take the time to reach the customers. Uh, if, if it can directly enter into an agreement with Orange ISP company, they could easily reach out to the 10 million customers in France. So this is a very key issue. So if they want to enter into any market very quickly, they have to tie up an agreement with the local ISP company here. So that is about it. So you can also read this paragraph. The company's partnership with cable and cell phone operators worldwide give it almost instantaneous access to potential new users without having to spend a fortune on advertising and distribution deals in markets where its brand and content are often still relatively unknown. Netflix just has to get into agreement with the cell phone pro operator or uh, this internet service providers and they can quickly enter into the market. Issue number four. In your examination, you just need to understand before giving an answer that uh, good relationship between uh, Netflix and uh, internet service providers. So, if there's going to be any conflict, then the Netflix is the one who is going to lose a lot. Okay, so that's about it. And another thing that you could uh, think of is assume that we already seen a company called as Hulu who is competitor to Netflix. If Hulu is going to get tied up with Orange, for example, he find he ties up, he creates an agreement with Orange before Netflix, then Hulu will get that uh, enter the market as a first mover. So Hulu will get the first mover advantage when compared to Netflix. So it's all about speed. They have, so it's all about speed. Companies like Netflix have to go to every country very fast and tie up with the uh, with the biggest internet service provider company in that country. So that's the deal here and that's the issue here. We'll move on to issue number five. So issue number five is about Netflix pricing plan. Our main uh, discussion is here. See, if you if you've gone through the Couchweb case study, you might have found that that Couchweb is, uh, has a standard uh, price which you are going to charge across customers okay so they are not going to differentiate the customers and they are not going to charge a different rate they have a, just a single uh, price at which they charge their customers but look at netflix here netflix has three plans basic standard and premium okay so we will just see what are the common things across the three plans here okay so the co common things are these so whatever plan you choose watch movies on your laptop tv phone and tablet i think uh, couchweb also offers all these things unlimited films and tv programs i think couchweb also offers these things you can cancel at any time couchweb does it 
free month free i don't think how your case study is giving this information but if you take netflix it for all the three plans across it gives all these options okay. so these benefits are available across all the uh, plans here so what is the difference here if you take couchweb you could almost see a single customer can pay a single monthly subscription and view uh, on three screens okay so assume that uh, the father buy buys the plan the father mother and the son they all of them can view in view different content from different devices but what does netflix do netflix says that if you are going to pay 500 rupees okay 500 rupees is like nine dollars okay if you pay nine dollars you can watch only in single screen if you pay ten dollars you can watch in two screens okay or if you pay 800 rupees that is well or 13 dollars then you can watch in four screens okay see can you can you imagine how they have like breaked the plans okay couchweb had only one single plan where the customer can watch in three screens but here they are giving an option to watch in different screens okay so pay lower amount watch in one screen pay more watch in two screens and pay much more watch in four screens okay so i think that this kind of a question can appear in your examination like the question might give you some different plan combinations and they might ask you which is better like a flat fee or a three tier uh, plans okay so that can be a potential question i think i think that would be a wonderful question apart from this what else this there's a difference between the plan ultra hd is available only at the premium and hd is available at standard and the premium okay. so this is what i wanted to discuss about so that's about issue number five We move on to issue number six. It's here. Netflix fires Kevin Spacey from House of Cards. So who was Kevin Spacey? Kevin Spacey is a famous actor. He has won some awards uh, for his acting performance. But in a recent controversy, he has like investigation going around him for sexual assault claims. So it's something like: uh, Should Netflix continue with a person who has bad? Uh, who is very unethical and immoral or should they just dump him and uh, move on okay so that's the question it's an ethical kind of a question surely you will get many uh, many angles of ethical questions in your examination okay so you have for every variant three questions and most probably in one question there can be an ethics element this is an ally sexual allegation with this person okay and what has netflix done Okay, this is what Netflix has done in relation to this issue. Netflix said it will not be involved with any further production of House of Cards that includes Kevin Spacey. It will continue to work with MRC during his hiatus time to evaluate our path forward as it relates. We have also decided we will not be moving forward with the release of the film Goat, which was in post production, starring and produced by Kevin Spacey. Look how ethically this company has moved this netflix okay once they have found this person is like unethical and immoral they have totally dumped him okay even they have stopped releasing a movie which is in post production stage so that's like really huge they have the company netflix should have spent a lot of money for creating a movie but still they have stopped releasing a movie i think that is a wonderful uh, message to its uh, customers and subscribers and to the general public that they are not going to be involved in any person who is like unethical so you could still read a lot of uh, issues re relating to kevin spacey but for an exam i think uh, uh, this is fine we'll move on to issue number seven netflix shoots down report regarding its plans for weekly tv news shows assume you are going to watch movies on netflix and you have bought a, a subscription plan and you are like paying it and you are watching the movies and suddenly you feel that you want to watch news then you have to switch on your tv and see it or assume that you suddenly want to watch a sports show you have to move on from netflix to another uh, sports show and you have to watch it but sports show and news are not available on netflix so a customer has to pay 
two uh, subscriptions. One, he has to pay for Netflix and two, he has to pay for another cable connection. So in India, we call it as a uh, cable connection where we need to, or set up box connection, we need to pay uh, to another uh, company and he will give us a, give us the rights to watch shows. Okay. Want to watch movies and uh, television shows, you can watch it in Netflix, but if you want to watch news and uh, sports, then you have to have another separate connection and you have to pay subscription for that also. So you, so essentially Netflix complicates you by, by making you to pay an additional amount for uh, this news and sports shows. But Netflix is not go going to get that amount. It's going to be some other uh, cable connection, TV cable uh, connector who is going to get it. But the problem is this. In Netflix portfolio, product portfolio, should they include uh, telecasting news, uh, uh, telecasting uh, sports shows, live sports shows or recorded sports shows, should they enter into those areas or not? So it's something like uh, product expansion in uh, Ansov's matrix. Okay, should they enter into, see they are already into geographical expansion. Okay, should they also enter into product uh, diversification? Okay, they are producing movies and contents, but still, should they enter into news and sports? Okay, but if they enter into news and sports, there is no need for a customer to separately watch it in another cable connection. They can simply watch it in Netflix itself. Okay, so in an examination, they can ask you this kind of a, product strategy and you have to come up, you might need to come up with the answer. Okay. In this article, Netflix has clearly says that they are not going to do news show. Okay. So they are going to give a week, even not a weekly a TV news show, they are not going to do it. But they say that they are going to interview very prominent people, okay, political people or politically significant people, they are going to interview. Think, uh, yeah, you can uh, see here. In addition, Netflix seems to be stepping closer to the new space in recent months with things like David Letterman's Netflix series, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, where the talk show host has interviewed notable figures like Barack Obama and Malala. So, can we consider this as news or is Netflix slowly trying to gauge uh, things and slowly trying to create news shows? So, this is not strictly a news show. But are they trying to slowly move on to a news show? So that's about it and we'll move on to the next issue. So the crown is a famous uh, TV program which is like uh, produced by Netflix. And in that crown program, this woman is, is a lead actress and her name is Clary Claire Foy. And she is the, playing the role of uh, Queen Elizabeth. And she's been like paid a lesser salary than compared to her her male counterpart, Mr. Matt Smith. Okay, so he is playing the role of Prince Philip. Okay, so it's like this. The queen is like paid a lesser amount than the prince. So that has become the issue here. And uh, what has Netflix said about this and how this event like turned into a big uh, issue, we'll just see here. So once people knew that the queen, the, the actress who was like playing, playing the queen role, is getting a lower salary. There has been a huge outrage of uh, in Twitter, and as thousands of fans have taken to social media to express their fury, legal expert, experts have been counseled by various media about the chances of success for the actress, who has become one of the new darlings of British entertainment, if she chooses to challenge Netflix legally. How did uh, Netflix handled this issue. We'll just go through it. Netflix has explained that the pay packet difference was due to the fact that Matt Smith had a higher profile when they were chosen for the roles. He was a well known for a star role on the BBC series Doctor Who from 2010 to 2014. So he is much more when when there was a first season of The Crown for which was like uh, produced. At that time, Matt Smith, who played the prince role, was much of a famous actor when compared to the female actress who was like uh, the, played the role of the queen. So that, that is the explanation that they have given. But what the company couldn't explain is why as she ga garnered more fame for her award-winning role as the crown, as 
the crown's British monarch, Foy continued to mark make less money than Smith during the second season. Okay, see this can the argument of uh, Netflix can be uh, accepted for the first episode, but for the second episode also, like uh, uh, she was uh, not we can't say episode for the second season also she was like paid a lesser amount, and that was that seems to be like uh, provoked this con controversy here. And uh, finally, what is the position of uh, Netflix regarding this issue? Thing was summarized here. Okay, so this is what is here. This is what uh, Netflix says. Netflix producers have insisted that the pay discrepancy would be changed for future seasons. Going forward, no one gets paid more than the queen. Okay, so they have finally. Uh, wrapped up this controversy of uh, pay discrimination between gender and I think uh, Netflix what they are doing is they are like uh, creating new new controversies but every new controversy that they are getting into it also adds a publicity it can be a good publicity or a bad publicity but what Netflix is bothered about is publicity okay they they want their uh, shows and the movies to be like uh, immediately reaching a lot of people through bad publicity and once it gets some publicity they feel that the people would come and watch their season and their uh, movies and their uh, production shows here so that's what they do so here also there is a controversy but they ended beautifully by saying that in a funny way or in a wonderful way that the queen will be paid higher than anyone else okay. You come to the end section. So, thank you for watching this video. Please give a comment, like, and share this video. So, this entire document is available in the link below this video, and you can get it from there. So, thank you very much for watching the video. This is Sham Prasad signing off.